Pflugerville police are on the lookout tonight for an 18-year-old student they believe sexually assaulted a 17-year-old girl at John Connolly High School two weeks ago. Authorities tell KXAN this has never happened at the Pflugerville school campus before. KXAN's David Scott has more on what police say the girl and the suspect told them. School officials say that as soon as the girl came to them, they gave her appropriate assistance and immediately called the campus police. The girl told them 18-year-old Jaquan Rogers texted her to meet in the balcony of the Performing Arts Center. And there, she says, he proceeded to assault her. A police check of the balcony found blood and a condom there. A forensic exam of the girl also corroborated her story. In a police interview with Rogers, he confirmed there was an encounter, but says he physically ended it when she told him, I can't do this. Rogers told officers he did not use force. A warrant was issued for Rogers earlier this week. The school district's police chief, William Edwards, tells me they have good security at the schools, that they've never had an incident like this before, and that they were shocked to hear about it. He also believes and hopes they'll have an arrest in the next day or two. David Scott, KXAN News. Well, we wanted to give you some more perspective on the agency in charge of this case. The Pflugerville ISD Police Department was formed in 2008 to meet the growing demands of the district. And there are now 20 officers there. Two of them are assigned to each high school, one to each middle school, and the others rotate among the elementary campuses. Pflugerville ISD Police also employ two canine units, one for explosives and the other for narcotics.